since the pandemic began, we've been here for you every day with the facts and answers to your questions about coronavirus. That is also thanks. Mostly, really, we have to give I most. I love it. I love it to medical experts. Mostly. Majority, give her, give her right. credit. What am I give her a lion's share. <laughs> Tori, we'll give her a little bit of credit. I she guess she went to helps. school for 20 years. My God, cardiologist, <laughs> I apologize. Thanks to our medical brilliant genius, Dr. Pyle Coley, who joins us live. Good morning, Doc. I apologize for even <laughs> pretending to be part of that. I hope you accept my apology. <laughs> Tori, your dress makes up for it today, yeah. so it's... Fine. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right, so Doc, we want you to weigh in in this news. In a recent interview with Stephen Hahn, head of the FDA, he said he's willing to uh, authorize a COVID-19 vaccine before clinical trials are complete. He says because the benefits outweigh the risks. Is that okay? Talk to me. I'm worried. So Tori, I have to say this makes me really worried and honestly really upset because when I became a doctor, the first thing, the first oath that I took was first do no harm. And that's really our guiding principle in medicine. And by shortcutting the scientific process in this way, I think we are gonna do a lot of harm. And what history has shown us is that whenever we've taken shortcuts with respect to vaccine development, the scientific process or the manufacturing, we've actually induced harm in people. So we saw this with the polio vaccine in 1955 where a bunch of kids got polio from the vaccine. We saw it again in 1973 with the influenza vaccine where people could have gotten Guillain-Barre syndrome. Wow. So these types of shortcuts, like I said, make me extremely nervous. And I'll be honest with you, if they do decide to shortcut the process, even if it has emergency use authorization, I'm not going to sign up wow. for that vaccine. Wow. And I'm not going to recommend it to my patients. Wow. I'm not even joke. joking. Is that you going to ask I was going to I was going to say doc, I don't want to put you on the spot, but would you take it? Wow, good and you answer it before. Look at. Wow. It. And Tori wants to give you a little bit of credit. <laughs> okay, <doc>. we stopped <laughs> that conversation already. <laughs> All right, let's go to some viewer questions, doc. Ed wants to know, there's a claim circulation uh, circulating on social media which was retweeted by the president and put out by the CDC that only 6% of CDC reported deaths are from COVID-19. Is this true? Could phrase that a little better. Yeah. yeah, I saw this. I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw this claim or not, but this is another thing that made me really angry at the CDC. And to be honest, I'm not sure why they even put this information out there because all it did was confuse people. So let's talk about what the truth is. The truth is that more than 180,000 Americans have died from coronavirus. The truth is the CDC put on their website that 6% of people had only COVID listed as the cause of death on their death certificate. And that means that 94% of the other deaths had COVID plus other mm -hmm. underlying problems like diabetes and high blood pressure. But those problems wouldn't have killed those people had it not been for uh. COVID. So I think all the CDC has done is confuse people. And Twitter actually took this claim down and you know said that they don't agree with it because it was misinformation. Wow. So I mean, it, I'm it, glad that that's happened. That is confusing because I was confused by everything. I'm, I'm confused a lot about what the CDC says. And again, thank you, doctor, for being here because you yeah. clear up a lot of that because I'm confused, I think, just like the rest of America. Yeah, and to be honest, in a pandemic, the last thing we need is chaos so I really appreciate it and she really took a stand today she was like mm -mm, I'm not gonna get it you just like because she complimented your dress I do <laughs> thank you so much doctor you will be back tomorrow if you all have a question about coronavirus but I hate that you know me like that you want answered by Dr. Coley write us on social media or email info at dailyblastlive.com anything really no question is too stupid we've asked the doc trust me I, I I'm, I'll take the cake for the stupidest so for sure and you're I'll, above me I'll give you that cake we'll be right back <laughs>